Hello everybody, my name is Miss Stevens and I'm one of the guidance counselors at College Avenue Secondary School. And I'm gonna be taking you through our presentation today on emphasis technology at CAS. And I'll explain what it is and um, what the different areas of study are and how you would become involved in that program as a student. So before getting into the specifics about emphasis technology, um, one thing to keep in mind uh, about CAS is that we do have a full variety of programs for all students, regardless of your destination. So whether you're interested in university or college or a trade or apprenticeship or the workplace, we do have all of the subjects and courses that students would need to reach any of their, any of their goals for that area. Um, we also have a number of specialty programs. So for example, you can see there we have a robotics program that begins in grade 10, which is new for the fall. Uh, and you can also take that in grade 11 and 12. We have a leadership program and students are able to develop leadership skills, running events and uh, activities and so on um, in the grade 11 and 12 courses. CAS has an enrichment program called TAG. Um, TAG stands for Talented and Gifted Program, and um, students can take part in different activities throughout the year once they've been invited to that program. Um, we also have an excellent uh, DSE, or Developmental Special Education Program, um, at our school with excellent facilities there as well. Um, we have our Empower Literacy Program that helps uh, provide students with some literacy skills that they can use to help them be successful in high school. And finally, we have a work internship program. Um, it's designed for grade nine and 10 students. And the focus in that program is to um, help students get some experience and knowledge and skills that they can use to one day be successful in the workplace. So as you can see, regardless of your destination, although we are the Emphasis Technology School, um, CAS does have everything that students need. So in terms of emphasis technology, uh, basically what that means is CAS is designated as the Emphasis Technology School for Oxford County because we have a full variety of technology programs um, that students can choose from. So we have well-equipped, high-quality facilities where they can learn and get hands-on experience as well as the theoretical background that they need. Um, students, because we're the Emphasis Technology School, students who are outside of our area can apply to attend CAS um, should they be interested in an area of technology that's not offered to them at their home school. It does mean that students um, commit to taking one technology credit each year um, so that they remain eligible for the program. So you can see there that we do have a number of technology areas um, that provide students with quite a variety of subjects that they can cover. So we have an exploring technology program in grade nine, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Um, we have communications technology, computer technology, construction, design, green industries, hairstyling and aesthetics, hospitality and tourism, manufacturing, as well as transportation. And in some of those areas, there are um, more specific subject areas too that you can study. So for example, construction technology um, includes the woodworking, it includes the electrical, and it also includes our HVAC program. So in addition to those main categories, there are more specific areas of study too. Um, and if you look in our course calendar, you'll see that there are over 50 tech classes to choose from. Um, a related program um, that's unique to CAS is our Specialist High Skills Major Program. Um, so SHSM is the acronym for that program, and we have SHSMs in four areas. We have one in Agriculture, one in Hospitality and Tourism, one in Electrical HVAC, and one in Hairstyling and Aesthetics. So what is an SHSM? Um, well, basically it's a program that bundles together specific courses so that students can focus in on an area of study that they're interested in. So in addition to getting the knowledge through those courses, they'll also take part in earning industry standard certifications and some other activities to help them get real world experience. Now this is a program um, that doesn't begin until grade 11, but it's nice to know about it now as you're looking at high school opportunities. Um, and typically we would work with students while they're in grade 10 in planning for courses in grade 11 so that they can choose the courses that they need in order to meet the requirements and then earn their red seal on their diploma. 
So next, um, I'm going to take you through a few photos of our technology classrooms. Um, usually we would be able to have a grade eight family night and that's a great opportunity to check out the school and see what we have to offer and have a look at the classrooms. So we have a few photos here to show you. Um, and as well, keep in mind that what the information I'm going through now um, can all be found on the Future Nights Hub, which is linked to from our College Avenue homepage. And there's a virtual school tour there. So if you'd like to really get inside the school and see everything, check out that virtual school tour video. It's about five minutes. So I'll discuss the grade nine tech options specifically, as I said, uh, a little bit later on when I go through the course selection process. But most of the technology areas that we'll see in the next few slides begin in grade 10 at the open level. There are a few exceptions in which the tech subject begins in grade 11, and I'll note those as we go. Here you can see our machine shop and welding bays, and these subjects are part of our manufacturing program. This is a picture of our heating, cooling, and ventilation class. And this subject area doesn't have a grade 10 option, rather it begins in grade 11. Um, and HVAC electrical is one of our SHSM options. Sheet metal is also taught in this room and it too begins in grade 11. You can also check out our auto shop here and you can see that um, as with all of our technology areas, students are able to gain hands-on practical experience in addition to receiving um, the important theoretical training as well. For students interested in the construction industry, they may wish to take a combination of construction and electrical courses. And as I previously mentioned, HVAC Electrical is one of our SHSM programs. Here you can see our communications technology green room. These courses include topics such as graphic design, filmmaking, broadcasting, etc. Um, and on the right, this is a picture from our design technology classroom. And in design tech, students focus on the use of AutoCAD. Computer technology is a program available to students beginning in grade 11. And students interested in computers may also wish to know um, that there's a robotics program that starts in grade 10, um, as well as computer programming courses that are available beginning in grade 11. You can see our industry standard kitchen here as well. And following the grade 10 hospitality course, students are able to focus in on cooking or baking beginning in grade 11. And hospitality and tourism is also one of our SHSM programs. And on the left here, you can see our hairstyling and aesthetics classroom. Um, hairstyling and aesthetics is also one of our specialist high skills majors. Um, and students would begin to plan for it in grade 10, um, as I said, for all of the SHSMs. And finally, we have our horticulture greenhouse filled with some lovely poinsettias. Um, three areas of study fall under green industries, and they are horticulture, crop science, and animal science. And green industries is also an SHSM program option. So if you would like some more specific information about the different um, uh, subject areas within the technology department and what's offered at each grade level um, and also at which course level, you can see in the chart here um, that it's laid out for you so you can follow the progression of a course um, from grade 10 through to grade 12. You'll also see that grade nine starts with the integrated technology course, and I will explain that uh, shortly. And um, keep in mind though, um, that the grade 10 courses that you see there, there is no prerequisite for them. So if a student doesn't get into a particular shop area or tech area in grade nine, that's okay. Um, there are no prerequisites for the grade 10 courses. Um, and for most of the grade 11 tech courses, students are also able to begin those in grade 11 if they haven't had the opportunity to take the grade 10 credit. So in terms of course selection, um, that's something that students will do with the help of their grade eight teachers. And high school students take eight courses. Um, so for grade nine, six of those are compulsory and two are electives. So you'll see on the left, the compulsory courses are English, science, geography, French, math, and phys ed. Um, the main levels are academic, applied, locally developed, and work internship. Now you will see for math, math is de-streamed. So you can choose from the de-streamed, the locally developed, or the work internship level. Um, the de-streamed code note is MAT 101. 
if you are choosing um, the work internship program and that is something that uh, your teacher would recommend you for um, and you would speak to um, families and teachers regarding that program you choose all of those as a bundle of courses to take and it's set up such that uh, part of the day is in the same classroom with the same students just to provide a little bit more consistency compared to rotating through four different classrooms um, for four different periods um, in terms of physical education, you can choose from female identified or male identified. And you can see on the right there that CAS has a number of elective courses you can choose from and students are required to take two electives. So your options are drama, instrumental music, visual arts, business, learning strategies. And that's a course that's available for students with an IEP. And then you choose between you can choose between Tech A um, or Tech B. Um, and just note that you can choose one or the other you can't choose both and if you are a student who would be coming in out of area under emphasis technology tech a or b would need to be one of your two elective courses and courses are selected um, through my blueprint so in terms of the tech options just so you have an idea of how those work um, the purpose of exploring technologies in grade nine is to introduce students to a few of the different tech areas that we have in the school. So it works as a rotation and students would rotate through two or three of um, a group of uh, subject areas. So for Tech A, students would rotate through two or three of hairstyling aesthetics, design technology, communication technology, hospit hospitality and tourism, or green industries. And for Tech B, you can see that students would get to sample two or three of construction, manufacturing, automotive, design, or green industries. And as I said, if you're interested in a particular area, but you aren't able to get into that uh, subject area in grade nine, you can still take the grade 10 course as there are no prerequisites for the grade 10 courses. So if you're interested in registering at CAS, um, these are the steps involved in uh, registering to become a student here for the fall. So in my blueprint, that's where our course selection take place, takes place. You will select College Avenue as your high school, and then you will uh, enter all of your grade nine courses in there. You will submit those and uh, please follow the process that your elementary school has established. They will have spe specific deadlines that they need you to meet in order to meet the final deadline that we have at our school of Friday, February 12th. So that's the deadline that the elementary schools have to provide all of the information to us. So please do follow the deadlines they give to you um, so that, that that final deadline is able to be met. If you are coming in uh, for emphasis technology out of area, there is an emphasis technology intent form that needs to be completed and returned to the elementary school who will then provide it to us. Um, that form is available on the Future Nights Hub. And again, that's the website that's been put together for um, all of our grade eight students and their families to provide them with everything that they need in terms of information. This is an image of the emphasis technology intent form here. Um, and you can see the link there for our future Nights Hub. And you can find that form on the registration information page. So what are some of your next steps? Um, do check out the Hub. As I said, everything is there. Um, it's organized by topic and you can click on a topic and get more information and details and look at pictures and check everything out. Um, keep in mind our final deadline of Friday, February 12th, and then follow the deadline set by your elementary school. And remember you're selecting your courses. For CAS and My Blueprint, um, you are making sure that the elementary school gets the consent. And then if you're an out of area student, you're also providing them the emphasis technology form. And then um, in the spring, we'll have some other opportunities to help you transition to high school and make that smooth. Um, and our leadership students will be helping with that. Um, so please just follow along with us on social media and I'll put that up in a moment. And um, High School Here I Come is a program that's offered in August and that's a good orientation program for students who will be um, attending CAS. So if you would like to um, stay up to date on what's happening um, and get all of the information about CAS, you can find us on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook.
So for complete information, please visit our website um, and you'll find on there um, a couple of additional things that might be helpful. There is a frequently asked questions page and there's a form there. You're welcome to submit questions and we will get back to you with answers. And all of our contact information there uh, is there as well. So if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. So hope you've enjoyed our presentation on Emphasis Technology here and uh, we will look for forward to meeting all of our future nights in the fall. Thank you.